Good morning folks, I'm Dan. Another quick project. One um, one video is all I'm doing on it. That's all we need. I'll add a bunch of pictures and what it's going to be is a Corvair engine case half assembly jig. Uh, all it is is the fixture that holds your half of your case on its side so you can install the crank and the camshaft and install the other half and bolt them together. Um, from there it'll go on to a different stand on in my instance anyway I'm going to build another stand to go on or a, a mount to mount it on my actual engine stand so I can rotate it. Not an original idea I would posted uh, some rough sketch or a rough sketch and some pictures of this on the Zenith Builders group somebody would ask about Corvair engine stand to build their engine so I posted some pictures on it. I'm going to refine that a little bit it's not my design it's a William Wynn design um, works fine real simple built out of whatever scrap materials you want to use for it um, or built out of whatever materials you want to use I'm using up scrap that I've got around here uh, it's gonna be out of four foot of angle iron and three foot of half inch pipe um, it's scrap I've got laying in the rack out there I want to use it up and get it out of here so that's what's going into this build I'm going to um, cut it up in the bandsaw and then clean any rust off of it that's on there and we'll get on with assembly it real quick real simple the top mount, top mounts that hold the the half inch pipe are 12 inches long the base pieces of angle iron are 12 inches long and the uprights out of pipe are two of them are seven and three quarters and two of them are nine and three quarter inches long looks like the the rough dimensions that i've got all i've got is a rough sketch for this so i'll double check everything before we weld it together so anyway i'll get it cut up we'll go from there well, we've got all the materials rough cut. Um, I'm going to take it out to the welding table. I'll probably take the plasma cutter and round the edges. Uh, these are the two upright pieces, or the two supports for the case itself. And I actually, my angle iron, there again using scrap, this is eighth inch, and it is, what, uh, inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. What I'm using for the base is quarter inch thick, and it's inch and a half by inch and a half. So just there again, materials I had on hand. I've already drilled everything. The uppercase support doesn't need to be drilled because all it's doing is supporting the edge of the top of the case. The bottom, I've drilled two holes in, half inch holes. They're 10 inches apart, although you can go just a little bit farther than 10 inch will be fine. The actual dimension is 10 and an eighth or something like that, I believe, on the cases, the case that I just measured. It's up a half inch. Center line of the hole is a half inch off of the base of the angle iron from the inside. And that will line up the two uh, mounting holes for the um, bottom of the case, if you so desire to bolt them in place. There are half inch holes through there, which is what's in the bottom of the case. It can be secured with a three-eighths, you know, or a quarter-inch washer. All you're doing is trying to stabilize it if you even think it's necessary to do that on the case halves. So this is the lower one here, and this is the upper one. They'll mount just like that when it's all welded together. And I'm going to take them out and round the edges and grind them smooth and clean up all the, clean up all a little bit of rust and scale. The two bottom pieces, I made them out of the heavier material just because it was better on the bottom. I drilled four holes in on each one positioning doesn't matter they're quarter inch holes just in case it were you wanted to bolt it down to a to a bench top or you know screw it down why if there's your two um angle iron for the base and then for the uprights we've got four pieces of half inch pipe ugly looking pipe i'll clean it up too um the longer pieces are nine and three quarters and seven and three quarters for the two shorter ones and that's all there is to it I'm going to take those out, go ahead, round the edges, uh, clean up all the pieces, smooth them out, and then we'll lay it out to, to weld them together. Okay, I didn't do any video of setting this up and welding them. I took some still shots along the way. These are just pieces that I've uh, that were already cut. They're already cut, and drilled, and and I've rounded the edges and beveled them. Here's the first pieces set up, uh, just set up with magnetic triangles to go ahead and uh, get them in alignment and we laid out both sides the same way using those angles measured first two pieces welded together or first two halves welded together and then we go along and this is we're starting to jig things up into position we set them up with the magnetic squares in there and uh, we're just lining everything up and clamping it in place we want nine and a half inches between those top pieces where the case from top to the bottom of the case the way it sets in there so we uh, want to make sure those are square to the world and and just measured everything out made sure it was square and true and had our measurements right and we went ahead and welded them together and once they were welded together why 
I uh, went ahead and cleaned them all up, threw them in the sandblaster, took off the rest of that scale, or most of the rest of that scale, and then we went ahead and powder coated everything. Well, we powder coated our little rack, we got everything finished up, and we're going to try it out for the first time. So here's what it looks like. And there again, nothing spectacular, nothing perfect about it, but it's a perfectly functional little project for the shop. Um, let's see, I went over dimensions earlier. These are a foot long. This is a foot long. Quarter inch holes if you want to bolt it down to your bench. Did that in the four bottom pieces. These uprights are seven and three quarters long and nine and three quarters long. Just make sure everything's welded up true. Uh, half inch holes, 10 inches apart which will match up to the um, holes in the bottom of the crankcase. And let's see if it's going to fit. So that's in there just like that. Got clearance on the bottom for all your case studs. Holes will match up here to put oh, probably a 3 8 bolt with uh, just washers on them and a nut if you feel the need to, to lock them in place like that. Um, these holes were 10 inches apart. Let's see, what other things didn't I cover? As um, long as it's relatively square to the world, true to the world, that'll make another nice little nice little jig for in the, uh, in the airplane factory. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. If you find these videos helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you hit that bell notification, why you'll know when I put out a new video. And any comments, suggestions, or complaints you've got for me, why go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. I look forward to hearing. Uh, and thanks for taking the time to watch.